Bruce Show. We're in uh, Stuben County, uh, down in Cohagda, New York. I'm here on Johnny Wallace's farm. We're going to go out in the field and uh, we're doing some side by side trials with Black Label uh, and Nutriplan SL. And then we have a check in a couple spots in the field so we can see side by side uh, how uh, our products are performing against uh, the products that John's been using uh, for quite a few years. So. I used a uh, John Deere 1750 uh, Max Merge planter, a six row, and I put uh, the three right hand uh, row units didn't have any uh, liquid applicators on it, and the left hand three had applicators, so that's how I split things up. Um, I'm using a triple uh, eight fertilizer, just basic, um, and then I did some plots where I had black label, which we mixed in with the liquid fertilizer, so it'd be in the nitrogen band, and uh, the Nutriplan SL was put on with uh, Keaton seed firmers with the liquid applicators and I put it right on top of the seed. I didn't split it and I put it right on top. Uh, this field's about 23 acres and I've got plotted most of it, but this is where all the plots are and this is uh, what, we, what we'll be doing today. It's just going through and uh, picking plants are about the same size, basically the same leaf stage and uh, digging the roots up and washing them off in a bucket and uh, seeing the comparative size. Hopefully we'll see more root hairs, smaller root hairs, more root mass on the new plant used. And uh, where the check is, you'll still see a decent root system probably, but not as many of the micro roots. Okay, so John and I are gonna go do some digging. We'll be back in a few minutes. left in there just because it's so hard to separate them all. There's such a root system to them they just break right off in the soil. Not on these, they just go so deep and they're so massive. And you know, with that new plant, it just is creating new roots all the time. I mean, any of them are, but this is just so much more. It's just crazy. Yeah, that's your main tap root right there, or one of your main tap roots. And these, these are actually the micro roots, but they're they're darn near four inches long. You know, those are just root hairs, not the tap root itself. Pretty long compared to uh, your check which doesn't have anything on it, it's just a triple eight fertilizer liquid. But, you know, you do have those root hairs, micro roots, but they're probably only half the amount as much, maybe. And the biggest thing to me is seeing the, the length of tap root is much longer on the uh, Nutriplant side than the uh, check side. This is a pretty good root system, but this right here just enhances it a little bit more. The roots, the tap roots are a little bit longer and then you have the micro roots or the smaller root hairs that go all the way down to the bottom of your tap root. The further your tap root goes down, the more water and other uh, nutrients it can take in and then all those small little fine micro roots. I mean, they're just heavy right at the bottom of that and they just suck in all kinds of moisture and uh, other nutrients, it's just, it's a pretty big difference once you get get everything cleaned off after you get them dug out. It's hard to tell, just looking visually at each row, telling a difference. You really have to get in there, uh, measure out a certain amount of 17.6 feet, just so you're in the same comparison to your splits between your check and your neutral plant, and uh, really get in there and dig some out and clean them up and actually look at what you're seeing. I mean. You have to be very gentle with them when you're taking them out because a lot of these new root systems are very brittle and uh, you can break quite a few of them off but once you get them cleaned up it really shows. And the other thing that we noticed too John or you had mentioned is uh, we can see less insect pressure on the Nutriplant SL plants uh, than we do on, the, on just the check with nothing on it. The check's just got a little bit more uh, 
insect damage there and these ones are just a little bit healthier. You'll still find some insect damage on the neutral plant side and you'll still find some ones that don't have as much on the uh, check side but if you really get looking and walk down some rows and uh, pick out different patches and look at different uh, sections of it you'll you'll be able to tell the difference but you really have to take the time and get out here and actually look at them to see a good difference. So used it last year and uh, like I said last year I just uh, wanted to use it again another year to make sure that it's going to work and uh, everything looks good for now and uh, we'll find out more through the season. We'll keep doing this throughout the year and then when it gets time to harvest we'll uh, do yield checks and we'll find out what the bottom line is. So we're down in uh, Cohogton, uh, New York with John uh, Johnny Wallace at uh, Johnny Wallace Farms and uh, looking at the Nutri plant, what it can do for your crops. Uh, we appreciate your time, John, and uh, I look forward to working with you the rest yep. of the summer. Sounds good. Thank you. For more information, you can contact Rob Grusho at 585-410-2665 or to set up an appointment. Look forward to working with you.